So this morning I was coding a new navigation system for one of our clients in Japan. They recently changed a lot of their website, so we had to change the way the navigation works to match up with their content changes. After that, I started doing a bit more content population for one of our other clients in Dubai, where we've been adding image sliders into the website. Just had a really interesting meeting, uh, so we're just discussing how we're going to build these academies. So we're building portals that people can log into, they can view video and receive educational material. So it's effectively like a learning experience, you can log in and do that. So in two weeks time I'm going to fly out to the States for eight days, so we're trying to make it as productive a time as we can. So today's priority is what we're working on is just finishing off some work for Powerlink. Uh, we're then going to move on to doing some landing pages and PPC, paid per click work for one of our other clients, BGI Solutions, their property investment company. So building them an application, but in the meantime what we need to do is onboard customers to show people what the platform is going to do. So right now we're in a marketing effort and then we're going to go into a development effort shortly after that. Another big priority of today is information architecture. So best information architects on the planet are librarians and it's actually putting structure and order to information. So when you go to a website and you navigate, you might just think it's per chance the way that menu is. But big sites such as e-commerce sites or large data sites have to be organized and structured in such a way that you can find your information in less than three clicks. So currently just going through the current site architecture, so in order to do this kind of exercise it's important to know what's on the website already. So there's a couple of tips and tricks that we can use. So for example I generally use a sitemap scanner, which is normally a tool utilised for SEO, but it allows me to see all the link architecture that's currently deployed in the site. So rather than manually going through every single page and try to work out what links are there, I have Google scan over the website and generate a sitemap for me. Then it becomes an exercise of breaking it down into a logical manner, or as logical as I can get it in the first pass, and then I can actually analyse how the menu is sitting. So for this current client, what I've actually got is three drop-down menus. They'll really consolidate all their content, and make it really easy for their customers and for themselves to use the site, and to promote their services going forward. The story and background behind this project is a lot of the web agencies that the client had spoke to were really just interested in redesigning the site so they didn't really want to organise the data, they just seen it as well this is an opportunity to just get a refresh. That's not always what the client wants to do, they don't always just want to have a new shiny website. The client came with a genuine issue, which is his clients could not find information on the site and he was finding it hard to maintain the site. It's a very different problem to I don't think the site looks good or the site's not engaging with customers. So they were very busy but it was just a case that their customers couldn't find the correct information. It's causing a lot of questions for him as a business and that was something they wanted to sort out. So we've actually approached that from an information architecture standpoint and by going through this exercise they'll have a nice simple minimal site that's easy to navigate without actually making any changes to the theme or the template itself beyond the menus and filters we need to introduce. This time next week I'll be flying out to Austin, Texas. So really the week that's coming up now is we're going to focus heavily on scheduling. So this is the first time I've been away from the business from a full week. Uh, we'll still be in contact with the team on a regular basis. There'll be one more normal episode and then there'll be two episodes that are recorded purely from the trip out to the States. 
and then we'll go back into our regular schedule. Till then, see you next week.